During this short video we're going to look at the very common problem of installing software to uh, networked user machines, deploying software, and in particular we're going to look at deploying an MSI package. And this particular problem is discussed on the Fast Track Script 10 Problems page, and it's documented as problem number 9, a need to run an MSI package to upgrade or install software on client computers. And if we drill down a little further and read more about that particular problem, then there are a number of sample scripts here. There's first of all a simple install script, just working with the uh, Windows phone book. And a bit further down, there's an example using both an installation and an uninstallation. And then there's the problem that we're going to look at, which is using the logon script to control the installation. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to use those three lines there. If a particular piece of software is not installed, then run another script and do the installation. So let's go to the Fast Track script editor where I have prepared a couple of scripts to control that. And let's open those. And they are my pre-log on script. So let's open that one. And also a second script Inst Adobe 9. I'll come back to that one in a minute. The package I'm going to use is Adobe Reader, a very common package used for reading PDF files. But first of all, let's have a look at the pre-logon file. Just a couple of simple sections here. First of all, we're going to put up a splash screen, wait three seconds. Then we're going to make our network connections for the user who's logging on. So we put up a small splash screen down the bottom, wait three seconds, connect the home folder, connect the public folder, connect the group folder, in this case just one, the user being a member of sales staff. Then we remove both those screens and now we come to the installation part. And these three lines, 15, 16, 17, are saying if Adobe Reader 9.3.0, specifically that version, is not installed, that's what installed version is telling me, then we want to call another script. The location of that script is given there. It's in the image server netlog on FSH bin folder. It's called inst adobe 9fsh And further, we want to run that script with administrator credentials. So I'm supplying the administrator username and the administrator password. And the password is encrypted, and I'll just show you how I got that in there. So let's delete that one. Save that script. Now let's encrypt it using F8 or the encrypt password uh, icon. And the password is entered here in clear text. So just be careful who's looking over your shoulder. Enter the password in clear text, hit the encrypt button. The password is copied to the clipboard. And then we can paste it in. And that's how we get encrypted passwords into our logon scripts or any script in fact. Let's save that. And there's something else I'll highlight at this point. You can see up here, script encrypted is actually uh, highlighted. Now that means that this whole script, prelogon.fsh, is encrypted. So casual users could not read it. And just to show you what that looks like, let's go over to the netlogon folder, the fsh bin folder. There is prelogon.fsh and there's instadobe9.fsh. Those are the two files that I have open. If I send these to Notepad, for example, just to have a look at them. So first of all, prelogon, that's what it looks like. It's an encrypted script. The entire script is encrypted, as well as the administrator password being encrypted inside the script. If I look at instadobe9, which is not encrypted, then I can read it. To encrypt scripts, you need the license key as the public key to encrypt, and then you need a private key to decrypt. And you can get that when you obtain a license key. You can also obtain a public key for decryption. So that's just a little bit about how encryption works. And now we have prepared or done everything that we need to do on prelogon.fsh. So let's go over to InstaDobe9, which is the script that is called. And just four lines to the script. First of all, we put up a small splash screen down the bottom of the screen. Then we're running msiexec.exe, which is the standard way for installing MSI packages. 
slash i means do an installation. Then we have the path to the Adobe Reader package, which is acroread.msi. And then we have a couple of parameters on the end to control a quiet a um, installation requiring no input from the user and no restart. And lines three and four there uh, control what we write to the registry, provided there is a successful installation, which means last exit code is either zero or three zero one zero. Then register the installation in the Windows registry. All right, we've saved those scripts. Let's go over and log on as a user, and we'll just watch those executing. So I'm simply logging on as a standard user. There's the main splash screen. And there's the installation of Adobe Reader kicking off. So we're currently installing Adobe Reader 9.3.0 and this is all being, being controlled by the pre-logon.fsh script, which means the user cannot do anything until this installation completes and anything else that's in that script. If you do want your users to be able to carry on working, then this installation could have been called from postlogon.fsh. And now the installation is done. There's the icon on the desktop. Control is returned to the user. And we have exited prelogon.fsh and also it's Adobe 9. So that's a quick and easy way to install MSI packages to your network users.